if you're if you're loving what you do and you're in the zone and you're not paying attention to what other people do, that's a recipe for success. I want to go back to being a full-time traveler. I want to go back to living in Bonita. I want to get back out into that life. We have a little bit of a, a problem here. It's six o'clock in the morning. I'm supposed to leave at 10 and I haven't packed yet. Not only have I not packed all the stuff, all the prepping I was supposed to do, like checking my fluids and stuff, I haven't done any of that either. So. It would be too good to be true if Bonita went like without an incident. So my fuel line is leaking. I haven't crawled up underneath it. I just see that it's leaking. Hello. Thank you. I thought you were coming over here to be like, hey, did you know your fuel's leaking? And I was going to be like, yeah, that's why I'm in the parking lot. <laughs> All right, man. That's good, man. Thank you. Is that, is that where it's coming from? Is, it, is that just a huge slash? Like, it's like the most brittle. I can stick my thumb in there. What the heck? <laughs> We're not getting anything there, you really can't tell. Oh, no, coming from there too. Really, really. I don't even think I need four wheel drive. I'm gonna hit it with two, see what happens. Can't see the river? I can't see the river. Oh no. Can't see the river. What's the point of the cliff? Still a really nice view, though. So, Roy's over here. He's setting up his tent, and Hippie's setting up his tent, and I'm set up. I'm ready to go. That's the good thing about your setup. That's the good thing about my setup. It's just ready to go well, off the bat. I come bearing water. <laughs> the struggles of a rooftop tent. Oh, you have the fancy hat. Oh. We have, we both have, we both have fancy oh, hats. we do! Hi! It's got like the, the weird, people always said it has dog ears. It's yeah. So These are what we call youper hats in the upper peninsula of Michigan. Youper, youper. <laughs> Last night, it got down to 36 degrees. Everyone else is packing up. I'm packed up, but it's still really, really cold. I'm filming for this like video documentary thing I'm gonna try. I've never oh, done it before. I'm getting out my new shirt. Oh, there we go. I like the color. Yeah, we leave out on the 30th. Okay. And uh, we're back on the road full time. There you go. Full time again. You look like you're struggling up there. <laughs> you know, the thing about this coffee is it's kind of nasty, but it's also nostalgic. This is my happy place, and I gotta make a song about it, cause Drink me now, I got overchanging lanes. Blinkers are needed in terms of 
the blinkers. We don't need blinkers. This is like the ultimate campsite now. <laughs> I actually squeezed in with Roy and Carol because I didn't want to pay for a spot because I'm cheap. <laughs> this is really cool. Like, as in cold, it's freezing outside. <laughs> Alright, I got my sleeping setup worked out. And it's Hippie's gross. almost you can, got his. You can stay on this side of the line. You don't mind. Oh. <laughs> Ta da! Is this the kitchen? Yeah, this is the kitchen hangout. We're it's warm. an awesome kitchen. I want to see if it's warmer in here. Oh, it is warmer in here. That's crazy. I think that everyone should have a kitchen hangout room. Maybe, maybe it could do with a little bit more headroom. Yeah, <laughs> well, usually it is up a little bit higher. But... Does that have like something that pulls it up or it's just, you just no. get static on your head? No. <laughs> we got, we got John Rambo over here. That's the largest uh, buck that I've ever seen. It was actually, uh, we, I did heating and cooling and one of the guys I worked with found it behind a furnace they were taking out. I gave him 35 for it. Nice. I thought, heck of a steal. Yeah, it is made of steel. For that big bug knife, yeah. <laughs> I fixed it. I didn't have audio. <laughs> I'm glad I realized that now. This microphone has to have a battery. And if you don't turn it on, it doesn't work. So I that oh, look. Off-road recon. I know those people. <laughs> I'm so sore by that time already. <laughs> So are you the down to mob like that? The guy? That I'm the guy, You're man. The guy? Phil is, is the name. I'm gonna be Good honest, to I've heard about brother. you, I've clicked on your channel, I've never watched your videos because I've been way too busy, but Hey dude, no I've worries. Heard a lot. People are like, down to mob's really cool. You guys should go watch it. So I get people tell me all the time that I need to watch your channel to be inspired because they say my videos suck, but you know. <laughs> I'm but, sure they're great. No, um, they're not. I'm gonna be honest. They're not. I don't know. If you're bringing it, you're bringing some enthusiasm here. You bring those to the videos. Well, you know, I'm trying to. I have friends yeah. who know. They watch lots of channels. That's how they found me. But they were like, "Down the mob is down there. Did you see him?" I was like, "No." They're like, "He was outside. You didn't see him?" I'm like, no, I didn't see him. I, I, I told you guys I don't know any of these people. <laughs> yeah. Well, honestly, good for you, man. Because if you're if you're loving what you do and you're in the zone and you're not paying attention to what other people do, like. Yeah. That's a recipe for success. Yeah, yeah I dude, got bored. it's, it's, <laughs> it's the like, highest highs and the lowest lows. Like it can definitely get lonely, and you know it's hard. I mean, there's a lot of hard times. I try to share the good stuff. Hi. Hey, babe. <laughs> yeah, we we're just talking about tough times on the road, and, Hi. and the yeah, hike. it's hard to be solo. And so Julie and I met at Overland Expo last year, and well, dang, we've been traveling together. This is a uh, this is down to mobs. I forgot what it's called. It's a gladiator. But he's got this whole setup back here. So he's just got lots of headroom, actually. It's very surprising. And I'm up and up now. Whoop. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> What's it called again? Video I did get a video in there. Nice, we call it the Mobicon. The Mobicon. Really, the coolest name is the Krav Maha. I like Krav Maha more. Robert, I'm not an OG, but I'm gonna have to start watching all these YouTube channels now because yes. it's like it's different when you meet them in person And then it's like, okay, well now I want to like get to know this person better. You know, Heck so. yeah, man. <laughs> well, it was, it was fun, you know, chatting with you when you first came up on camera. And yeah, now I just have my just, phone. Yeah. I'm just my wrist. <laughs> Dude, yeah, I, you're getting after it. I'm, the, I'm jumping you on top share of the it. experience with these people and that's awesome. Okay, this Hardtop design is what made me want to do all of this. Look at this. Oh. That makes a lot more sense. I was like, <laughs> I'm glad I'm good and I'm like in decent shape. Otherwise, like I don't know how half my friends would get up in here. That's what I love. I love this actually. Wait. Can I take a nap up here, or am I only allowed to stay up here for? Uh, well, you know, you can sit up there until somebody else wants to. You know, I saw someone else was taking a nap. Okay. There for free, you could see so, like the whole expo you know, from this view, and then if I want to hop down, and then boom. It's last night camping at More Expo. We met a guy via Facebook actually. He said he's coming up to More Expo, and we were like, hey, we should all like tag along and stuff so he was like I can cook this really good like it's going to like a Cajun pasta thing 
It looks awesome. Um, I'm excited about it. I've come to try the Cajun pasta. That's Cajun pasta and that's just gumbo. Jambalaya. Jambalaya. I honestly don't know the difference. I keep using it interchangeably. <laughs> Jambalaya, Jambalaya has gumbo with uh, rice. Uh, okay. Uh, it's Jambalaya. Mm. Oh, really? I immediately forgot what these are called. What are they called? Boudin. Boudin. Boudin is amazing, and you are really good at cooking. <laughs> Guys, more expo has just been like the coolest experience. I came up here with Roy Carroll and Hippie, and I honestly wouldn't have come if they wouldn't have invited me. So huge shout out to them for inviting me to that. And huge shout out to Hippie. He actually gave me some money for gas. I say some, like he didn't give me. He gave me a lot of money for gas. I could not have asked for a better ending to this trip because if you look right over here. The water is beautiful. This is Cucumber Creek. The really messed up thing about this, this is only about 30 minutes away from Broken Bow. I've been to Broken Bow numerous times. I've never traveled north from Broken Bow. And I think that there's camping somewhere along here. I actually think you can camp in this exact spot. I don't know if I'm allowed to camp where I'm sitting right now. It would be awesome if I could. I have to work tomorrow, so I can't camp here today. Otherwise, I totally would, because it is Beautiful. I love look. It's just look at this blue water. It's freaking awesome oh, Man every, hippie Roy Carol y'all are missing out We passed this when we were driving and I was like I'm stopping at cucumber Creek when I'm heading back and they're missing out right now This is beautiful I'm gonna go over there and stick my face in the water and try to not get bit by a snake Actually, I'm actually just sitting in a really bad spot to get bit by a snake now That is nature's energy drink if anyone's wondering that, if I missed anything from traveling, going to these beautiful rivers full of clean water, just getting to stick your face in that, it's, it's an indescribable experience. I was driving and I was just like, I want to stick my face in some clean water. I don't mean like tap water. I don't mean like, it doesn't work from the shower. I've tried it. I've tried to turn the water in the shower on ice cold and just drain my face with this freezing cold water and it just doesn't work because there is just something about this that I am itching to get back into and I miss it and I want to get out like going to more I don't even know if you guys can tell but my enthusiasm now to get out and go in these I'm like I'm itching I want to do it so bad and that felt so good and I, I, I grew my hair out too so I can really like soak it all in you know yeah. Mm, I have to leave now though But I want to go back. I want to go back to being a full-time traveler. I want to go back to living a bonita I want to get back out into that life and like I'm, I'm, just, I'm gonna throw my glasses in the ground. So like uh, Willingness man, I'm gonna grow a beard I'm gonna I love it Traveling through the water Oh man, this is awesome never hear about this before. No one told me about this. I have like a hunch that Jeep Jeep knows about this. Oh, I'm driving through water and you will drive. What? No. Nobody told me about this secret magical river known as Cucumber Creek. If I was full time, I could just hang out here and I could go explore. Also, to clarify, when I say work, I mean I say work, I mean like I have to go do a job. I think there's a huge difference between working and having a job. Um, editing videos is working. It's hard work. Having a job means that I have to be somewhere physically tomorrow. The work I want to do is I want to go chop a tree down, split it into little loggies, and then use my new flint and steel stalker thing to make fire. And then, and then go um, throw a rock. That's the work I want to do. Also, in case you're wondering what this cord is that keeps getting in the way, it's the best $25 I have ever spent. Like in my whole life. I gotta go back home. So, uh, tell me if this video sucked. Um, and if it did suck, tell me why it sucked. Don't just tell me it sucked. That's stupid. I gotta have a reason so I can make better videos. Okay, that's all.